Hey guys, it's Mercury James in here, and I'm back with another video. So, guys, Antoine Fowler was finally laid to rest yesterday, December 4th, 2021. So, yesterday was the final conclusion of Antoine's funeral service. Also, tagged the homegoing service, which was really, really nice. And I was really proud that the mother could pull this off because it was just so memorable. And the funeral was Sonic themed, like I said earlier in the in my previous video. Antoine's favorite character was Sonic, so his mom had to respect Antoine's wish and made the funeral Sonic theme. That's why y'all seen um, Sonic the Hedgehog, Max, and um, a guy in the sunny costume carrying Antoine in the beautiful car. So guys, before I play the funeral service, I'm going to be um, showing this video of Antoine himself explaining how his health issues all started. Guys, it's really, really sad. And I, I couldn't even listen to the video to the end because it was really sad. I'm going to be playing the video for you guys right now. So I'm going to tell y'all how I got in this doctor. In this hospital. I was sick. Mm -hmm. And then I couldn't breathe. So they put me in the hospital and they gave me a trick. Next mm -hmm. thing I know, my God was sitting right there. And I had a, I was like, what happened? Basically, I, I couldn't talk all that. <laughs> so. I'm listening. So when the story began, and now. I feel better. I could talk better. I could, I could run. Well, not really. I could sit <laughs> down better. I'm back. So this is my, I wish, my wish come true. I wish I was at home, playing with the dogs and stuff. Just get it. So when I was at home, are you sick? I'm recording. Wait, are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. So, when I was at home, I used to do anything, but mommy said I used to walk on my tippy toes. Uh-huh. Don't. You did, but not no oh. more. But now, look. Look my feet. No tippy toes. <laughs> Mom, I'm gonna... All right. If y'all want to tell me, if y'all want me to tell y'all the truth, though, I'm going to tell them the truth, though. Okay, what's the true story? The true story when I was a baby, you know, when I was at home. Uh, you got sick? Mom, Mom no, you gotta tell me. I mean, you know it better than me. All right, I was so when you was a baby. Stomach was a kid, then I see your stomach all was out. Well, my, what's my eyes? It's closed the whole time. I, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't. So when I was in my baby, I was. When I was in a baby, when I was a baby, um, what, what, what you was? Uh, you was in my stomach. No, what you was? Uh, what you mean? Like what you want to get the, to get me out of your stomach? Oh, in the hospital. This one? No, no, sure. Oh, it's like the ice, the ice place one. No, that's a doctor. That's a clinic. Shut, shut up, iPad. Okay, so. I was a baby, and then when I turned two, I was like, Lana was, I know, was in my bluff. She had a bluff in my face. I was like, <laughs> Um, so y'all, that was Antoine speaking um, about his health condition before, sadly, he passed away. So guys, it's, it's really sad, and I, I, I really, I really feel bad every day that Antoine is no more. Um, I, I don't even know what to say right now, cause I'm just sad that this young lad um passed away, but. God knows why it happened. So in case y'all were wondering where the funeral service took place, it took place at Bethel Apostolic Temple in Miami, USA. So guys, that's all the information I could gather um, from the funeral service. I'm just going to let you guys watch the video without me talking. I'll see you at the end. Known for the celebration of life. A young man that has transitioned to go home to be with the Lord. We are soliciting the strength of this entire family, praying God for his mother and praying God for his father and all of his siblings. 
and all of those that he has left behind. And certainly we do know, y'all, that we serve a good God and that God will not put more on us than we are able to bear. And we solicit the prayers that you will continue to pray with this family and continue to pray for this family. Certainly they are going to need you in the days and the months and in the years to come. And we are still praying for everyone and every parent that has ever had to bear the burden of bearing a child. And we know that it never gets easy, but God will give you the grace to carry through every day. Amen. We are going to go on with this celebration of life, and at this time, we're going to be blessed with a solo by Sister Gia. She's going to come and bless us, and I'm going to come back and lead us in a word of prayer. Sure. 
are, you are my strength. You are a strength like no other. Shall we pray? Dear God, we bless you now and we call in God on your name for this family. God, they need you in this special moment. God, if they have never needed you before, God, they need you right now. So God, I pray that you would do what only you are able to do, God, in these times and in these moments, God, when we are going through the storm. Help us, God, to know that weeping may endure for the night. But God, we do know that joy will come in the morning. God, your word tells us to live is Christ and to die is gain. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that Lord TJ has gained his angel wings. He's now fluttering God over his mother. He's fluttering God over his father and his siblings. God, he's fluttering over this place right now. And so, God, I pray that you would wrap your loving arms around everybody that's under the sound of my voice. God, that you would continue to strengthen them, that you would continue to uplift them and keep them covered under the blood. And God, I pray that you would continue to hold their hearts and hold their minds. God, we need you, Father. We need you. We need you. We need you. God, to hold our hand and to guide our feet and to carry us, God, through this journey called life. And God, we know that you will be a very present help in a time of trouble. So God, help us to know, Father, that we can always lean and depend on you because you'll always be there. It's in the mighty name of Jesus I do pray. Somebody shout, Amen. 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 We do thank God for the shepherd of this house, Pastor Nash. We see you in the back. Thank God for you being here. Come on, let's celebrate her for opening up her doors for us to come and to celebrate to have this ongoing celebration. Amen. We're going to have another solo by uh, Pearl. Is she here? She's going to come to bless us. You're going to come to this uh, microphone over here right on the floor. You already got one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some praise today. Yes. I know we're grieving, but can we show God how much we love him? Look at somebody and tell them better days are coming. Better, better days are coming. Look at somebody else. Some of y'all didn't say anything, but tell somebody better days are coming. Days are coming. Amen. As we endeavor to move on with this celebration of life at this time, we're going to have our Old and our New Testament reading. Our Old Testament will be coming from the 23rd Psalm. And all of us that know the 23rd Psalm, help me to recite it, please. It simply says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. But thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepareth the table before me, in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading will be coming from John the 14th chapter, verses 1 through 6. And it simply says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. For in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus responded to him and said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. John the 14th chapter, verses 1 through 6. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. At this time, my dear brothers and sisters, we're going to move into the portion of service of reflections. It does not have a, a 
time limit on it, but we're going to ask that you would consider the family and would limit your reflections to two minutes. Somebody say two minutes. Two minutes. See, y'all didn't say nothing. And some of y'all didn't say nothing. You on the program. Let's say it again. Somebody say two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. Uh, we're going to have uh, Kevin Nix. She's going to come and speak. Monique is going to come. Uh, Tanisha is going to come. And uh, says children host. JHS, you're going to come shoot out to my left to go over here on the podium. Yes, ma'am. Everybody that will be speaking will come to share from the podium. Amen.
many years, but especially over the last year, we've really formed a very tight bond. So I thought I was going to share a little story first of just one of those moments that he and I would have all the time. So he always would ask me about my mom and dad. And I told him about my mom, and I said my dad's in heaven. So I didn't stop and ask the question, but he still had, you know, many questions. And now it just included questions about heaven, too. And one day in particular, we were walking past the room, and he's like, Heather, come here. Also, Antoine called me Heather. <laughs> and it, I would, if he would introduce me, it would have been I, Heather, his girlfriend. <laughs> um, so we were walking, he's like, Heather, come here. And I, so I walked into the room, he goes, when did your dad go to heaven? And I said, four and a half years ago. And he goes, no, 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 Heather. When, what day did he go to heaven? And now let me preface this by the fact that we always joke, because my birthday was yesterday, we're December birthdays. So I knew his birthday, I've always known Antoine's birthday. And I said, December 23rd. And he looks up, he looks up, he smiles, and he goes, he went to heaven on my birthday. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, and I just, my only reaction to that was, it was one of those moments where I knew God was there, I knew, and I just started smiling, I was like, and I, then I started crying, he goes, Heather, don't cry, it's happy, he went to heaven on my birthday. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right. And so that was just one of the many times we shared in those moments that you know, we were just connected on a level and a bond that I can't even really explain. Um, trying to think of what I was gonna say today was daunting, because I know like many of you, I could sit here and tell, stories all day, we'd be here all day. Um, but I really just wanted to share a small portion of what Antoine's legacy means to me. So my first thought was of his strength, and I know it's echoed through everything that everyone has already spoken about, but I had to remind myself on a daily basis that he was six years old. Um, he never saw an obstacle, only a moment to learn or to grow, and uh, we always had a mantra that we would say, every day almost, but especially when there was a test or a procedure or therapy, something painful. And I would ask him, I would say, who's brave? Who's strong? Who can do anything? And in the toughest and most painful moments, he would pop up his chest and he'd say, I am, I'm brave, I'm strong, I can do anything. And um, the next would be in his intuitive nature. If there is anybody that could read a room, it was Antoine. Um, he would crack a joke, take someone's hand when they were struggling, or keep quiet and listen. He just adjusted accordingly to every situation. I don't know a six-year-old, I don't know if any of you know a six-year-old who does that. His intuitive nature also led to him to being a little nosy. Um, <laughs> he, but once again, he had the ability to get that information from absolutely anybody or everybody. I'd be telling him a business, and I didn't know why I was doing that. Um, and Christina and I were talking earlier this week on the phone talking about that he was just sharing our business between the two of us. So, you know, Christina knows all my business. Um, but he once again has, um, so, uh, sorry, I got lost my train of thought. But lastly and most importantly was Antoine's spirit. He had a light that no matter how dark, how hidden, how bright, or how far, you knew it was that distinct light, and it was Antoine. It gives me solace to know that he is on the biggest platform to shine that light. Um, so today I want you to take this with you, that you're brave, you're strong, and you can do anything because of Antoine paved way. And he's shining down on each one of us. Well, guys, that's all the video footage from Antoine's funeral service, um, which took place yesterday, December 4th. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope this helps is the pain y'all feeling right now about Antoine passing away may he so rest in peace and this is the final video I'm going to be doing on Antoine so guys I'll see you in my next one bye for now Even